Hello and welcome back to Alex Goes Sailing. Today you join me at East Head and we're going to be testing this bad boy. Now uh, you can see freewheeler. The idea is you spin this handle and it spins the prop and you whack it on your little tender thing. Now we're going to test the speed of this and uh, see how it maneuvers and stuff. And then afterwards we're going to also whack it on a drill. <laughs> Right, so the plan of action is, we'll whack that on the back of the uh, boat. Um, I've got Navionics on my phone, so I'm going to start a, a route and uh, it's going to track my speed and how fast I'm going. And at the moment there is no current here, but I'm pretty sure on a current it would be useless. My brother's going to film from on the boat and we're going to see what speed we get. Right, just attached it on the back. Attached it like a normal outboard, but with one that's in there. And for every single turn of this, it turns that, I think it's three times one turn three or four times so that's your gear reduction so i don't know whether that's going to be a weakness at all because i think that's all in this bit and then there's like a bendy shaft that goes down to the outboard prop but let's do some speed testing now before we get started i have had this freewheeler out one time before this i actually had it out in this anchorage with a lot more current and I was beating on it quite hard so I only used it one time before this so I think you'll find what happened very interesting here you can see you spinning around got quite some speed going you can see it moving against Merakai in the water it actually looks pretty good it's doing a pretty good job although if I think I give it the full beans I might break it so I don't mind breaking it because we want to test it with the drill, but it gives your arm quite a good workout too. But this is in no current, so I think in any kind of current or heavy wind, it'd be pretty useless because, uh, yeah, it's shocking. Let's go for a speed run. Speed run this one. Oh, we've broken it, it's locked on. Yeah, I've definitely broken another one. All right, survey says we broke that. It does spin a little bit, but I think we've broken the gear reduction. Now we weren't going that fast in the first place. Right, we're now gonna do a run with rowing. I've set up another track and we've just got the standard oars that come on this thing. We've taken the uh, paddle wheel off the back since we broke it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how fast we can go. It's a good angle for you guys, I know. Much faster, I think. But look how much of the room of the boat I actually need to use. Whereas before, I could sit in the back and you'd actually be able to get someone in here. With this one, I think you struggle to get two people in here and any luggage. So I think that paddle wheel is only good as a toy. I wouldn't say I'd like to use it normally, but I have an idea to make it useful. Since we broke it, we're gonna diagnose why it broke when I get back to the boat. Look at that, three knots there. Seems to be three knots in this bad boy rowing. Three knots. Two and a half, two and a half. And America. Oh, look at this. Look at that docking. Oh. All right, let's find out why this freewheeler broke. All right, so we have broken this thing, as you can see. Struggles to make a full rotation without going crunch. So to disassemble it, 
get your trusty cross head and uh, set that to unlock. Twist off the cross head, take your handle off, and then you've got four 2.5 millimeter. You can use Torx head because I haven't got the actual Allen key, but they're Allen keys. And the four of them, just twist them off like so. You can see they've got a bearing at this top shaft, which looks all right. Looks greased up as well, which is also good. And I've only used this thing once before this, and uh, didn't even put it to a good use then. I only used it for like five minutes. So uh, I, reckon, I suppose if you use a little bit of force, you can just poodle around, but I wouldn't want to use it in the ocean. I use it in a lake, very slow speed, not put much force on it. Um, but it's these reduction gears, I think, which are the weakness, because that's when it reduces it to like a one to three or one to four even rotation. So uh, I think that is the problem, because I think the shaft would be fine. And let's find out. There we go. Things there. Oh, look at that. One is completely snapped in half. Look at those fingers. Look at all that metal shavings that was in there. So that gear reduction is the weakness, as we can see. Horrendous damages. Look at it. Can you see it? It's just all metal shavings. Horrendous. Horrendous. Look at these ones too. They're still broken little cogs. Not good. So, brother's got the drill. And we're gonna attach that to the end of the thing and see if it works. Right, the solution one to one all the way to the drill and then drill around the prop and that's in torque mode that's not even high speed mode so we've got gears in here we can use so hopefully the gears in this won't break and uh, this one shaft that goes through here does not break as well so let's try it out right we've attached our drill to the back and uh we'll see what speed we can get out of it put that down in that corner there quick start might should be recording and uh, which way we run it spinning reverse right oh so this we're moving One point two knots. At this, got some good speed out of that. That was quite impressive, actually. This might become the new outboard. Cheap drill for the battery. It's being gradual with the throttle, not to shock, shock it. Um, turning is easier as well, so don't have to twist the handle. Look at this. How far we got away from Marathon. Lovely day on the beach too. Oh, this is way better than using the handle. A little bit noisy, but probably less quiet than uh, the outboard. An outboard would be. We're coming up on Marathon. Ah, we fell off the shaft. Right, let's quickly reattach. Right, so I just uh, screwed it back on, uh, nice and tight. It's only a little, little snub, it's not even long enough. You can probably see through the little gap in there. It's not even sticking all the way through to uh, inside the drill. But if I made that shaft a little longer somehow, uh, this would be perfect actually. <laughs>
drill idea was the best idea ever. This thing is a beast. So for 60 pounds, I got myself this shaft and then broke the gearing in it. So now it's one-to-one -one and attached my drill. Cheap drill, used it for ages. And uh, see so if we've got a spare battery. And I've been ripping around on this thing quite a bit now. And uh, battery's not even dead on the first one. So uh, people who are buying torpedoes and things of the like, just get a drill on this thing. 60 pounds plus whatever the drill is. And those torpedo things are like a couple grand. There's one thing I like to improve is make the uh, shaft a bit longer and bigger so this can actually grip onto it. It's only gripping onto a little nub. And uh, but apart from that, the old system works perfectly fine. Now we've got two people in, we'll see how fast we go. Just keep going. So in conclusion, the handle one works well if you're not thrashing it about and I'd only use it on like lakes or like maybe a river. You don't want much current at all because the handle one you're not going to go very fast um, and the steering is difficult. Um, when I attach this drill, I could go like, I would say a good four, four knots maybe I'd say. Uh, I'll have to get a GPS or something next time but this thing is rapid with the drill. This is only a little brushless thing. Uh, much faster and really easy and really small compact look how big the drill is and this thing like imagine carrying around a mini outboard and then you've got service all of that electric easy like you should probably go i don't know a couple mile on a bad well i don't know it depends how how uh, good your drill is i guess but this is only a two amp hour 18 volt lithium ion battery i've got two of them so probably get a mile or two out of uh, between these two batteries possibly but i don't know well that's it for this episode the freewheeler did break the reduction gears were made out of chinesium so if that was stronger it might be a good product but with the electric drill it solved everything and it's much faster so i'm going to use that for a little while let me know what you think down in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you guys in the next episode